Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw an ovoid or an egg-shaped oval given its major axis AB. So the first step is to divide the axis AB into six equal parts. To do this, we will use Thales theorem. First, we draw a ray that has any angle and starts at point A. After that, we will choose any given measurement, for example, one centimeter, and mark it on the ray six times using a compass set to one centimeter as shown here, starting at point A. So here we are marking each centimeter, as can be seen here on our ray. It's our fifth mark. And finally, one more. Okay, so when we have marked the six divisions, we have to join the final division with point B. And from now on, we will draw parallel line segments to this line through the remaining divisions on the ray. You can do this using a pair of set squares for drawing the parallel lines. In this video, we use this 45 degree set square with an inbuilt protractor in our software. So once we have divided the line segment AB into six equal divisions, we number them from one to five, as can be seen here. So the next step, setting the compass on point five and with a radius 5B, we're going to draw a circle as shown here. And now we are going to draw a perpendicular line to the axis AB passing through point 2 and we are going to elongate it on both sides as can be seen here. So the next step with our compass set to the same radius 5B and centered on point 2 we are going to scribe four divisions above and below the line of the axis AB. So Here's our first division above the line. And now setting our compass on the previously described arc, we scribe our second division. And now our third division. And our final fourth division above. And now we're going to repeat the process below the line segment AB and mark four more divisions below the line. This is our second division, our third, and finally our fourth division. The final divisions on the top and the bottom we will name E and F respectively as shown here. The next step is joining point E to point 5 on the axis and elongating it until it cuts the circle as shown here. And now we are going to repeat this process again, joining point F to point 5 on the axis and elongating it again until it cuts the circle as can be seen. So the next step is centering the compass on point 2 and with radius 2a we draw a semicircle with a thicker line as shown here. So to continue centering the compass on point 5 we are going to connect the top end of the semicircle to the tangent point on the smaller circle using a thicker line. So you can see our final drawing shape is starting to take shape here. And now we're going to repeat this process except centering the compass on point E. We are going to connect the bottom end of the semicircle to the other tangent point on the smaller circle.
And finally, to complete our ovoid, our egg-shaped oval, setting the compass on point 5 and with a radius 5b, we join the two tangent points with a thicker line. So here you can see our egg-shaped oval, our ovoid, given its major axis. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Until the next time. Bye-bye.